Hi, I'm Chemistry Colleen. Welcome to my kitchen. Hi. Ooh, I am so glad you're here, you guys, because I know you can help me. I am in a very, very, very big pickle. Yes, a very big pickle. And I know you can help me. What's your pickle? What's my pickle? Hmm. This is my favorite sandwich of all time. Do you guys have a favorite sandwich? Peanut butter. Yeah, well, my favorite sandwich is onion, Swiss cheese, mustard. Mmm. So good, so good. Yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy. I mean, like Swiss cheese? Who doesn't love Swiss cheese? All the holes, it's just delicious. And the onions are crunchy and the mustard is spicy. But here's my big pickle. It makes my tummy sting, ouch, ouch, ouch. It makes my tummy sting so bad. I can't eat my favorite sandwich. Ugh. So, I designed an experiment. Yeah, we're gonna do an experiment so you can help me. What is What's it? What's the experiment? Okay, let's take a look. We have my favorite sandwich that has the onion, the Swiss cheese, and the mustard. Okay, now we already know that this one, sad face. Right, makes my tummy sting. So that's our sad face sandwich. Now, the other ones I made, how about if we just take out the mustard and we make a sandwich with onion and Swiss cheese? We'll see what happens with that. Because in an experiment, we have to collect data. So we're gonna collect some data too. This one is the crunchy, delicious onion and mustard. And this one is the Swiss cheese and mustard. Okay, so this is our experiment right here. And we already started collecting a little bit of data. Data is information that tells us what's happening. So this, what does this it mean? It makes your tummy hurt. Right, it means my tummy is stinging and it makes me sad and grumpy. Oh, ouch. So I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so what should I do next? How do I test these? What, what should I do? Eat them! That? Yeah, I gotta eat them, right? And tell you how I'm feeling. Oh boy, are you ready? I've gotta eat each of these sandwiches. This might take a little bit, so hold on. I'm gonna come back and report back on the data. Okay, that was a great experiment, you guys. Look at our data. This one is stingy, stingy tummy, stingy tummy. Oh, very stingy tummy. <gasps> but look at this one, such a happy tummy. So which part of this sandwich is making my tummy sting? What do you think? The onions! Oh, the onions? Are you kidding me? Why do you think it's the onions? That one doesn't have oh, any. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the sandwich that makes me happy doesn't have the onions. Wow, this was a really good experiment. I'm still kind of in a pickle, though. You know why? I love onions. They're crunchy. Oh, I love that. So I'm wondering if there's a way that I could still have my sandwich with onions. This is a very big, wait, it's a very big what? Pickle. Pickle. <gasps> what about pickling? Pickles are soft, right? And they're delicious. And guess what? You can pickle onions. So I bet if I pickle some onions and put those on my sandwich, I'm still gonna have a happy sandwich. What's that? How do we pickle onions? How do I pickle onions? Oh, I'll show you. Okay, so the first thing you need to do to pickle some onions 
is to slice them up like these, okay? So when you're slicing onions, you really, really want an adult to help you with that, okay? Actually, you want an adult to do that, okay? <laughs> All right? So have an adult slice up an onion for you, and then we're going to soak them. So I'm gonna use these onions because we know they make my tummy sting, so I can't use them. But maybe if I pickle them, so many times we're using pickle. I'm in a pickle and I'm fixing it by pickling. Isn't that great? Okay, so I've got these in here. And the way that this works, is let me put these front and center, is we soak them in something called vinegar. Okay, we soak them in vinegar. So we're gonna just cover them with vinegar. You wanna make sure they're completely covered way up to the top. What's that? How does that make them pickle? Really, really good question. All right, what the vinegar does, so vinegar has the ability to hi -ya! karate chop. So what it does is it brings along a water molecule. So pretend this is water. So it grabs a water molecule and I'm vinegar. Okay, it brings it along and it takes the water molecule and goes, Hi, -ya! and it chops it down into teenier molecules in the onion and it makes it softer. So instead of being crisp, when it gets karate chopped by the vinegar, it becomes salt. Can you, can you see that in there? I can hear chop, 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 chop. They're getting chopped up. Takes a while, it takes like two to four hours. So maybe, that's enough time to, I don't know, watch a movie or read a book. And when you come back, the onions might be soft. Okay, that's enough vinegar. Now we need to add a couple more ingredients just for some flavor. The vinegar is gonna make them soft and do all the hard work. But you know, a spoonful of sugar never hurts a recipe. Let's put a teeny bit of sugar in there. That'll give a little bit of sweetness to the onions and a teeny bit of salt. So I'll put the salt, I like to put the salt in my hand first. Otherwise I think I dump too much in there. This just gives it a little bit of flavor. And then you wanna take a fork and just kind of gently move them around. Okay, we spiced it up a bit in there. We put some salt for spice, some sugar for sweetness, and there's one more thing that really helps pickling, and that's some hot water. So let's add a little bit of hot water because that's gonna really help making, make the onions more bendy. So this is really hot water, guys. So I'm gonna put that in there and stir it again. Now, it's time to wait. <sighs> okay, that's as fast as I can run. <gasps> Whoa, what do you guys notice? What color is the water? Pink. Pink. It's my favorite color, pink. Hmm. I know, why is the water pink? Okay, so what happens when we added the vinegar and the hot water, and especially the hot water, it breaks down the cell wall, walls of the skin of the onion, and the color scoots out. It's like squeezing it out of a tube of toothpaste. It goes, comes out, and where does the color land? Yeah, in the water vinegar on the outside, that's called a solution. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have something so awesome to show you. What do you guys see? It's dark in the middle. Yeah, it's darker in the middle, and then it's white or lighter pink on the outside. So you can see that the color traveled from the middle out. What do you think if we let it sit in the solution longer? Oh, the color would come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, all the color would come out. That's a pretty cool thing, huh? 
Okay, back to my own personal pickle. Let's look at these pickled onions. Ooh, look at this. Look how bendy they are. Oh, it's almost like monkeys in a barrel. I'm pulling them out. Do you see how bendy they are? They're slime, a little slimy. But they smell so good. Oh, I can't wait to put these on my sandwich. Okay, so it looks like the vinegar chopped up the molecules in the onion to make them smaller and bendier. So let's put this on. Let's go back to this one. I bet you I can turn that frown upside down. Look at that. I mean, come on. That looks amazing. I'm taking this away because this is going to be delicious. Try it. Oh yeah, I should probably eat it, right? We have to test the data, Kara. We have to test the experiment to gather data. Can't just guess. Okay, are you ready? I can't wait. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh man, you guys, that is the data. Pickling makes my tummy feel good. It's happy, it's dancing, it's not stinging. Pickled onions are gonna be the way to go for this gal. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping me with my pickle. Oh hey, guess what? The weather's getting nicer, so next month we're gonna go outside and do some outside science. We're also gonna do a little bit of camping. Yeah, that's right. I know some of y'all have some campers and the kitchens and the campers are a little different. So we're gonna go in my camper and take a look and see what that looks like. And we're also going to hit the trails for a little bit of nature, a little bit of chemistry, and a whole lot of science. So I'll see you periodically. Thank you.